Our third story out front tonight, drugs known as bath salts being blamed for a gruesome scene in Miami. This is a naked man. He was shot dead on Saturday by police because he was gnawing off another man's face. Obviously, that sounds horrific, and it is. I want to warn you that the pictures uh, we're about to show you are very disturbing. 31-year-old Rudy Eugene was described to be in a zombie-like state when he was caught by police. Armando Aguilar, president of the Miami Fraternal Order of Police, suspects Eugene was under the influence of so-called bath salts, which are sold as cocaine substitutes or synthetic LSD. When, when he was found, what he had done to this man's face, a uh, victim was 65 years old, truly horrific. Apparently, all that's left is his goatee. Uh, his eyeballs were gone. His face, it is, it is unbelievable. 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 stopped yeah uh because it's usually the worst thing i've ever touched in my life <laughs> you wouldn't know how to explain how you feel when you're on it really it's like it's like everything is just like heightened like your senses you're not like fucked up because you can pull it's like oh it's hard to talk to like, people you feel like just awkward yeah. and like you can't be social with people that aren't on it with you yeah like uh you know like when people like are tweakers for like years and then they just like adopt all these like weird like mannerisms and stuff like that was like me and my friends after like a month <laughs> you know like literally like i felt like oh shit like i'm a tweaker now <laughs> like yeah it doesn't mess with your vision or anything it's just all in your head so your mind's racing yeah yeah and like and you your body feels really tingly and like good really good and you don't sleep <laughs> Yeah. But we just had a great time doing it. All we did was uh, produce uh, some music and we're recording uh, flows and doing some uh, hip hop recordings. And that was, you know, our night for that night. While you're doing it, uh, there's this thing, I guess they call it like compulsive redosing, where like no matter how much you have, once you start taking it, you'll keep doing it, like totally like without. Like you don't have control over it. You know? I can understand why people will become tweakers because they have this unsatisfied feeling, and you know, it just feels like it's, something's not right. You know, there it's not up to the top where you really want it to be, um, and you just have that little jittery feeling of like you know, you kind of want to do more, but you don't really want to. Uh, you're just trying to relax and kick it, uh, but then at the same time, uh, it's very euphoric. The head feeling of the uh, of loving everything, like the ecstasy. Uh, but it had the physical uh, feeling of, you know, cocaine as well, the, the way it kind of hyped you up. My mind knew that, you know, you don't want to do a lot at the same time, which would maybe make sense for a lot of the people that have had unpleasant experiences regarding bath salts. And I didn't know that the amount that you're supposed to take was like probably this big for a point. And I did like a line probably like that big. Yeah. So I didn't sleep for a really long time. We just had like a plate, like, and uh, on my friend's porch with like, just like fat pile of it, and like, it, dude, it went away like so fast. It was crazy. Like, I don't know. It's kind of gross though. Like, I felt like gross because I like, at the end, like everybody's like licking like the plate and stuff as if it was like, like pure like gold there, like you know, or something weird like that. And, like, it was really dirty. I would take the pen cap, you know, lead it to right about here, and scoop that little tiny bit and lay it down and snort it, or just bump it off uh, the piece of plastic that we had at the time. Um, How many bumps did you take? How many what? How many bumps did you take? Uh, did through that night, there? I probably took like three bumps, four bumps. For sure. Uh, I didn't, you know, since I was doing something new, I didn't really want to... Uh, push it too far to the top and you know we also read online you know different accounts of you know people doing too much and didn't want and i don't want to eat anyone's face or anything like that <laughs> there is like some euphoria in the beginning for the first like half hour that i like into like adderall or maybe like good coke or something like that but um after that you just feel like strung out for just like hours <laughs> My yeah. ex-boyfriend kept bugging me about getting his jacket that was at my house, so I thought it was him, and I thought I saw, like... This was, how many days were you doing it before this? Two. 
Yeah. And I thought I saw him, like, walking back and forth, like, a shadow against my window. And then my mom, I called my mom, and I was freaking out, and she, like, called the cops, and the cops came to my house. And there, and I, like, made a police report for him and stuff. Weird from me. Like, so yeah, you tell me that all the time, ever since she did. I thought people were hit. trying to put, I thought there were people outside my house trying to put bombs under my door, so I thought there were sliding bombs underneath yeah. my door. Uh, anxiety towards the end. It wasn't really uh, as much paranoia as um, you, you might think, but it was, like it's, it was more of an anxious feeling of coming down. No, no I can't even do any drug close to that. Yeah, like, like she doesn't do coke oh, anymore, do, ever. Because I didn't really do coke like a bunch, but like, I would never do I can't even do Adderall anymore. I can't <laughs> do anything like that. I don't know if I would do it again. Um, actually, I probably would. I'd give it another try, so I'd only try it the one time, you know, you, like they always say, you always try something twice. Actually, on my way over here, I just talked to this girl who, she, basically to her, like, four months of her life just, like, disappeared, you know? Like, um, she was, uh, she really, like, turned into a different person, <laughs> like, a little while. Um, but, yeah, she was doing, like, crazy stuff to get a hold of it, you know what I mean? Like some stuff like a hardcore like fiend would do. That's know? the problem with the synthetic stuff is that you don't know, you know, you may think it's safer because it comes from a lab yeah. and people are, you know, making it, but at the same time, it's still so new, you don't know these long-term effects of them. People we know would just be like showing up at his house, like sweating and just like totally out of it at like five in the morning, like trying to get more and like just bad, bad, bad times. It reminds me of is, uh, uh, if you're familiar with any of the research drugs, any of the 2C families and stuff like that, uh, no? So if like, for me give you an example, you know, there's something like 2CB, which is the, it's somewhere around uh, between ecstasy and acid. You get the feeling on the inside of, uh, basically what these re research drugs are, are uh, ravers that got into chemistry. They're able to pick and choose what they want uh, from different drugs that simulate it into their own new drug. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of with these bath salts as well, is it's maybe something along those lines as well, that there's different, you know, types, you know, for different feelings or whatnot, or maybe if you just do enough of it, then you'll hallucinate the shit and trip balls. A message to the world. Don't ever do it. <laughs> it's very bad for you and it's not that much fun. And now that it's illegal, there's like absolutely no point to it. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> just don't do it. Don't, don't even do try it. to see what would happen. Because it's everybody not just fun. Kept doing it over yeah, it's not fun. <coughs> I only it's, did it and once. It's really yeah. addicting. It's really addicting. Uh, it's nothing wrong with keeping an open mind about you know it's, uh, uses of different substances. You may have people, you know, say, you know, either way, it's a negative, you know, it's a bad thing, you shouldn't put these in your body, but if you look at a child spinning around in circles, making themselves dizzy, you know, they're obviously trying to alter their consciousness. You know, as far back as any civilization goes, such as Sumeria, there's vats of, uh, you know, drugs with remnants of beer in it. So as far as back as, you, you, you know, history goes, people have always altered their consciousness through whatever means necessary, you know, whether it's uh, natural substances, um, just their, your own, you know, loss of balance even, you know. So I think, you know, you're keep an open mind. I'm, I don't have anything against it, but, you know, be cautious and keep everything in moderation, including moderation.